Hello fellow cruise fans, Jeff here, and my niece recently told me that she has absolutely no interest in taking a cruise because she's certain that she's going to be bored. Well, those of us who have cruised before know that this isn't the case, but if you're new to cruising, I can see where you might have that misconception and I want to do something about it. I think that one of the great things about cruising is that you can tailor your cruise to fit your lifestyle. If you want to read books by the pool, you can do that. If you want to take enrichment classes, well, you can do that too. And if you want to participate in silly games, <laughs> you're going to have plenty of chances to do that as well. So I thought I'd put together a video to show you some of the activities we've experienced on recent cruises. Now, bear in mind that all of these are from cruises we've taken on Princess and other cruise lines may have different activities, but they're still going to be fun and interesting. So let's get right to it. On our last cruise to Alaska, a chef set up a few tables in the piazza, which is sort of the central gathering point of the ship, and gave us a demonstration on carving fruit and veggies into amazing works of art. Later on, there was carving of a different kind when they rolled out a huge log and started working on carving a totem pole. A lot of times you're going to find activities that are tied to the region you're visiting. On this Alaska cruise, there was also lectures on area wildlife and ecosystems, as well as a talk by Libby Riddles, the first woman to win the Iditarod Trail dog sled race. If you enjoy art, you're going to have fun taking a walk through the onboard art gallery. Some galleries are larger than others, and we were surprised that the art gallery on the Enchanted Princess was smaller than most of the other princess ships we've sailed on. Throughout the day, you're also going to find a wide variety of fun competitions. A lot of times, the games pit the passengers against the crew. Giant Jenga is a game that we've seen on several Princess Cruises. On our last cruise, we also witnessed a game which reminded me of Beer Pong. And of course, one of our favorites is the egg drop, where passengers create ingenious devices to keep eggs safe during a two-deck drop to a target below. Other competitions include trivia contests on a variety of topics, a singing competition, and one of my favorites, the Yes No Game Show, where you get to see if you can last three minutes without answering yes or no to questions provided by the host. <laughs> you think it's easy? Well, I failed miserably when I tried. While we look at some of the other fun stuff you can expect to see during your cruise, I'd like to thank you for being a subscriber to the Backroads Tourist Channel. I appreciate it more than you know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, it's simple. Just click that subscribe button down there and join in on the fun. I put out several cruise-related videos each week, as well as the occasional video about a visit to a very interesting land-based destination, and I think you might enjoy that too. The main theater has a variety of shows at night throughout the cruise. Everything from music to magic to comedy to incredible production shows. But during the day, you might also find lectures and seminars on ports you're going to be visiting or cooking demonstrations behind the scenes of how the ship operates and much more. When you're in port, you might have visits from local entertainment. In Hawaii, we had hula dancers. 
In Alaska, we had a visit from sled dog puppies, and in the Caribbean, we were treated to exotic birds. Of course, don't forget that if you're a reader, your ship will probably have a library. There's usually live music going on somewhere on the ship, and if you like to tempt fate, well, there's always a variety of games in the casino. Or if you just want to lounge around the pool all day, yeah, you can do that too. All of the things I've told you about and shown you video of don't even scratch the surface. I haven't even mentioned the bars and the lounges that offer a variety of music, the karaoke, the wide variety of movies you can watch in the comfort of your stateroom, the board games, the dancing, the shopping, the list goes on and on. I honestly think that the only way that you're going to be bored on a cruise is if you want to be bored. So if you think a day at sea is just sitting around in a lounge chair watching the waves go by, well, you can do that if you want to. But I hope I've helped you see that there are usually a ton of other ways to occupy yourself on a cruise. So let me ask you this. What are some of the fun activities that I've missed? What are your favorite things to do on a day at sea? Put it in the comment section below. I'd love to read it. And thanks again for watching today. I'm Jeff, and I really hope I get to meet you on a future cruise.